Nguyen. Welcome back. Welcome. Uh, are you ready to, uh... I I'm in the hot seat today, driving this game. And we're going to be playing one of my second favorite shooters. Technical difficulties. Whew. Okay, so this is my second favorite shooter game of all time. My first one being Hellgate London, which, if you are subscribed to our channel, you would have already seen it. If not, look back in our our archive for Hellgate London. Brad played it. We were going to play it. Yeah, but, uh... but there's no multiplayer anymore because the servers have been down for eight years. So this is my favorite shooter that you can still play. This is my character. And I've played through the campaign, so I'm going to show you uh, what I like about this game. Okay. Except I can't use the controller for some reason. Uh, you might have to um, do some uh, options. So one of the things I like is the character. You can completely customize like colors and everything, and all your gear. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm but assuming it, they're unlockables. They are, absolutely. And it doesn't change the profile. Right. Like if your um, if your character is on the red team, all the things that are in red, like the sleeves on the arms, and the bandana, will change color as well. Or you can customize your teammates separately. So if you're on the red team, you wear different stuff than if you're on the blue team. Huh. Yeah. Strange. So here's my guy in blue. And here's my guy in red. <laughs> Uh. So the thing I like about this game is it's not just like an arena shooter. There's a story to it. So each of these is a story mission, and there's a thing you have to do. And depending on what side you're playing on, the story is slightly different. So one guy is like, rescue the hostage, the other guy is like, attack the terrorist, right? Oh, yeah. So you're playing both sides of the same story. Yeah. yeah. It, you say this is your second favorite yet you are not a fan of shooters no I'm not but because this actually has like a purpose to it it's not just like run around and blow someone up this has story and like heart and character to it opposed to all those call of duties and that's just war you are a war person you fight in war uh, take me, gun me shoot, I'm soldier make dead you know <laughs> yeah so uh this is day one, getting answers. Oops. This is mission one. Okay. And you can actually play online. I believe it still works. Um, let's see if there's any games available. Brothers, for months now we've had an agent in the Founders Council. <laughs> the time Dialogue. has come to pull him out. On my orders, he liberated some very specific intel and made his way to your safe house in the old visitor center. What and kind of accent is that? Now, but Boko and her um, men racist. Are hot on his <laughs> I've sent a boat to it's not wrong. Him, but you have but, uh... to protect him until we get all the intel. If they capture him, he knows too much. Don't let them take him alive. Ooh, so... Boko and his men will shoot to kill. Yes. You have to defend yourselves. Don't hesitate or you're dead. Are you going Hold to hesitate? Until the boat gets there. Press any key to continue. So there's like cinematics in the beginnings and the ends. An hour ago Ooh. I was making my kids breakfast. Then I get the call and get given this gun. And now the movement just about spray Yes, it very much so no, looks like a Bethesda game. Sudden. Doesn't it though? Like years. They have this style about them, like Dishonored. It kind of looks like the dudes from Gods of War, or um, uh, Gears of War, without their armor on. Just weirdly proportioned. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. So that's our story. And now this is the actual game part. Assuming there was actually other people online, they'd be able to jump in at any time and play. Can they play on the other team, though? They can. So, but these are all bots right now. That could make for some very, very difficult matches if you're it, versing someone who's just really good. Absolutely does. And it's not just a straightforward shooter. Like, all these characters have different classes to them. Really? Okay. Yeah. So depending on what you are, 
it determines like your jump height and whether or not you can like parkour up some things. Because you can like oh. climb buildings and oh. make dead. I make, died. Make did. Uh, we have no medics on our team, so I'm gonna just die. That was poor planning. Yep. Why would they not involve a medic? Oh, I died. <laughs> Too late. So, um, right now we're defending the objective and the other team has to capture it. And I think I can... I'm gonna build an MP net. Shoot things? No. I'm gonna set up a gun. Hmm. Four. Yeah. Nope. I, Ooh, you just got nailed with yeah. that shot. So I like this game. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> Even against bots. Well, that's okay. It's all about just having fun. Yeah. Like, there are too many people who get caught up in games. Who take them too seriously? Yeah. To the point where they no longer enjoy said games. Um, how do I change my character? Because I think I'm a... A, a dude. A yeah, dude. How do I? Um, it would be. Oh, because I'm um. We lost. Engineer. <clears throat> yep. Oh, so now there's a s different objective. Yeah. Command post. Here we go. Nice holder. So now I have a different like weapon layout, and I've got a uh, different skills, and I can jump higher. Ever so slightly. Yeah. I like parkour up stuff, over rails. Your buddies don't seem to be parkouring the best. <laughs> They're still bots, though. They're trying. And because I'm a soldier now, I can buff people and give them ammo. Ooh. So I just gave that guy extra ammo. And it does not deduct from your own. Uh, no, it's uh, separate. It's part of Okay, so it's just a uh, temporary buff. Yep. That's good. Adds a bit to the teamwork element. Yeah. If there's no penalty towards you. Oh, I've um, seen it many times in games where, uh, I know where I'm going now. they give you a penalty for helping others. And it creates a very negative community. That's a uh, uh, net netch I have, and we just got to keep him down while the other team tries to escort him out. Really? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, the entire other team is down. You're just gonna. Whoop! Whoa! Walk right into that. Oof! Because while they're still struggling, you can actually like go up and uh, melee them with V and get extra points. Oh yeah. Yeah. So just uh, otherwise they can the still kill. be revived, yeah. Play the piano. <laughs> uh, operative. I'm assuming that is a stealth class. Yep. Uh, I've got grenades, and I don't remember what his ability is. Which kind of sucks. I gotta say, I do like how stylistic Bethesda games are. If they have a set aesthetic, they do not intend to be more than they are. Well, they gotta make them stand out. Whoop, okay. It's on my team. Because if you're trying to aim for the best graphics possible, the most realistic, eventually it will be outdone. Oh, of course. But if you have a stylistic... Uh, Let's see aesthetic to your game, then it's got a more timeless quality. It also makes it dif more difficult for people to copy. Yeah, that's pretty true. And it eliminates lookalikes, and everyone's dead. I'm gonna try and become that guy? No, I can't. Not on that! <laughs> Just Ooh. hump the air a little bit. Do a little dance. Yeah. Make a little love, get down tonight. I can also uh, detonate. So if the team was near me and they exploded, I would, would have taken them out. That's a fun feature. Yeah, but they were too far. It's like they need. You still got to blow up. Uh, who else have a medic? We got two medics on our team. Medic on deck. 
Does that mean you can resurrect yourself? Uh, I can pass out syringes to people. So anyone with those little hearts, <laughs> I can heal. <sighs> Excuse me. Bless you. It's still full of dust. Ugh. That hurt. Just spring cleaning for your lungs. Yeah. Um, there's like vents that you can crawl through. If you can jump high enough to get to them. Whoa. Hello. That's a lot of turrets. Oh, they're advancing already. Oh my. Yeah, they're getting pretty far. Oop. Yeah, yeah. Hold still while I shoot you. <laughs> so what other first-person shooters have you tried that you did not like at um, all? Team Fortress 2. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. Get dead. Get dead. Stay down. So I've never actually played Team Fortress 2. No. Never. I don't recommend it, even though it's free. Stay down. You too. <laughs> He's dead. Okay. Oh, they're behind me already? Because the first person shooters I've played, I've played a lot of the mainstream ones. Yeah. And a few really old, really bad ones. How is he shooting at me? You're dead. Stay down. So, Team Fortress, yep. anything else? Um. Um. For shooters? you are played? Yes. <sighs> Not really. Honestly? I guess I Team Fortress just really sullied your. I, I try and stay away that. from shooters because I'm garbage at them, and no matter who I play against, they're always better than me. So, it's no fun. Yeah, if you're no good against the people you're playing against, it really is very just discouraging. It's, yeah. Uh, Overwatch. I have a copy of Overwatch, but I've played it twice. Twice? Yeah. Because I can't compete. And it's very team-oriented. It's also very um, vitriol, I would say. There's um, a very negative community that I don't want to be a part of. I have noticed how negative it is. Yeah. It's not, not, my, not my thing. Well, luckily, it doesn't have to be your thing, considering there are so many different games out there that you can play. Oh, yeah? Name another shooter. Uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, Warframe. I haven't played it. Uh, let's see. I, I'm mostly a PC Halo. Gamer, so nope, I haven't played it. Uh, Homefront. Nope. Stay down. Uh, let's see. Dog. What else is there? Where is he? Metro. Oh, I've, yeah, I've played Metro. Oh, you have? Um, I have it. Which one? Uh, Metro 20, whatever. 2033? Yeah. Uh, Redux. The one with bullets or uh, currency? I believe all of them have bullets as currency. Exactly. I've never actually read the books, though. I hear they're far, far there better, are, there far are books. more immersive. Yes. Stay dead. It's all based on books. Stay dead. Whoop. Don't walk into the enemy fire. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, that area is insta death. So uh, this match is gonna go on for another ten minutes or so. So I think we're gonna end it here because end it here. Pick going. it up next. Yeah. All right. So there's like ten missions per team. Oh wow. And there's like a. It's tutorial thing, and then there's like this. Oh, uh, what the hell is it? Let's go back to the main menu. I can just show you. Okay. There's like a, a parkour. Um. Challenge. Yeah, there's challenges. Ooh. So like the parkour ones, you gotta like jump across the map and get these checkpoints to get to the end. Huh. It's really hard, and they unlock um, different attachments for weapons. I see. Yes. They're not easy. That's why they're challenges. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd be called easies. Yeah. Are there any matches right now? There Ooh. are servers. Ooh. With three people and two people. Oh, man. Ooh. I can't believe there's still servers for this game. Maybe we can join that in the next episode. No.
No, no, I think I'm done. You're done with this? I don't want to get too deep into this game. This is one of my favorite Might shooters. get stuck in it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it'll be like when I rediscovered uh, the other game I showed Brad. Hellgate London. Oh, I, I got stuck in that for like 20 hours. Oh, no. Yeah. Still didn't beat it, but I got halfway. <laughs> well, yeah. so that, that was uh, what I like about Brink. And okay. that's it. So from you and myself, um, goodbye. Bye-bye.